stacking money, so you know my cash long. Guavos, that's the move, so they gotta put on. I just want that game, no love, shawty, keep your pants on. Hi guys, it's Fran Alexis. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make furry slides. So yeah, I'm gonna just get straight into it. Okay, so the things that you will need is E6000 glue. I got this from Walmart. And then you're gonna need a pair of slides. Um, you can get them from anywhere at Walmart. It really don't matter. Just get a cheap ass pair of slides because you don't want to get Nike slides or nothing too expensive if you're just going to be putting fur over them anyways. Unless you care about the logo that's right here, but I don't. So, but I got these ones from Rainbows for $10 because I had got two pairs. I got a white pair and then I got a black pair. But in this video, I'm going to be doing the white pair. And then <clears throat> you need a feather boa. I got this from Joanne Fabrics. They got all different colors. I had I got the white one, and then I got a red one, and then I got a pink one. But in this video, I'm going to be using the white one because I'm doing the white on white. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is get the tags off of everything so they aren't in the way while you're making your first slides. You wanna get the glue open. And then cut the little cardboard piece off of the boa. Okay. The end of the boa is like this. So I'm just going to cut the little rope end off of both of the sides because I don't want that on my slides. All right. So you can do this two ways. You can either glue it as you go or you can cut it into strips. I think I think I'm going to cut it into strips. So I just measured how just measured from this end and you want to make sure it goes all the way down here so I just measured how long it was so I'm gonna cut right here and make sure if you don't want feathers all over wherever you're at that you have a trash can or something because I just got feathers everywhere but anyways yeah so the next step you want to do is put your glue on the edge of where you're gonna glue that first strip Then I'm going to take the strip that I cut and place it on there. Let me show y'all how much glue I put on. I put on a lot for real. You probably shouldn't put that much on, but I just want my stuff to stick for as long as possible. I don't know if I just did that in the camera or not, 
but then make sure that you press it down, hold it a little bit. <clears throat> Wait for it to dry some before you put your next piece on. Okay, then, oh yeah, and I feel like also you should probably cut all your strips first, but if you want to do it how I'm doing it, then you can do that too. But if you don't want to measure each time, then you should probably just cut your strips before you... Start gluing them on. Which I think I'm just gonna cut the rest. Okay, so I have one strip right here already, and then I cut four more strips, so we're going to see if that's going to be enough. See, you guys can see all the feathers are getting everywhere. They're probably flying around the camera. I'm sorry if it's hard for y'all to see, but um, yeah, make sure y'all get a sweeper ready or something because this stuff is all over my shirt and everything. Alright, but then for the next step, you want to push the feathers up and out of the way so that you can do the next piece. Okay. Then you just want to take another strip, find the end, place it right up next to the other one, press it down on the glue. Make sure you press down, hold it, and I actually cut that one a little bit too long, so
Okay, so apparently a six foot feather boa is only enough for one slide. So now I have to go back to doing fabrics and get another boa, but this is what the slide looks like. But I'm about to trim the feathers on the sides so it don't look so long on the sides and yeah so y'all can watch me do that and i'm cutting off the ones that are like hanging off the side or whatever so that those don't get all dirty and nasty looking whenever I actually go to wear them. Okay, so I trimmed them and this is what it looks like. I'm about to run a two in fabrics and get another boa so I can do the other one. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I went to the store and I got another feather boa thing so that I can do the other um the other slide but look there's like a feather sticking out I'm just about to cut that off because I don't want that on my slide it's like a feather stick like the end of it or something Okay, now I'm just going to be trimming the bottom and the sides. Okay, so I'm done making the slides. Um, this is how they turned out. These are sides. 
um so yeah i think they turned out good um and they weren't that hard to furrow you just gotta know how to trim but now i have to sweep my room because there's literally feathers everywhere all over my pants and everything y'all could probably see it flying in the air i don't know if y'all can but there's feathers everywhere but anyways so yeah i'm about to sweep my room but if you like this video make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel um if you guys want to see the outfits that i paired this with go follow me on instagram it's gonna be right here and yeah if you guys want me to do more videos Chase my dream, I gotta go out here and get it, ah!